Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8.3 million minutes viewed on YouTube. This week we travel to Manchester for James Martin's Manchester 235 Casino Restaurant, which opened about 18 months ago. James Martin's newest eatery is a sophisticated but relaxed affair in the heart of Manchester at the Casino 235. Positioned on the first floor of the casino, this beautifully designed, spacious and elegant room has a modern fine dining feel. The menu is accessible with fish, meat and local seasonal ingredients in abundance. You don't have to visit the casino to dine. In fact, from my seat, I was totally unaware that I was in the casino. The service is warm, welcoming, unpretentious and very friendly. To begin, I love the refreshing charred squid with caviar and mint. Beautiful start to the meal. Next, the pea and black garlic fondant looked gorgeous, but sadly didn't quite live up to expectations. But nevertheless, finally, the cured and smoked duck was sensationally tasty and a true highlight of the meal. You can see all of the pictures during this review. They are taster size and not the full size that you would get if you ordered it in the restaurants. These were for review purposes only. As you would expect from any four-star restaurant, there's lovely linen napkins and indulgent touches like ciabatta bread and delicious butter on arrival. James Martin Manchester have a chef's table that can seat up to 20 people. I could see it was a thrilling experience where chef explains every dish and, of course, gives you the privilege of being in his presence. A lovely interactive way to enjoy a taste of meal. There is an a la carte menu available daily, as well as a seasonal six-course taster menu. I love that the staff took care of a young man celebrating his birthday. Chef sent over Prosecco. What a nice touch. For the entrees, I thoroughly enjoyed three plates. To begin, the seasonal Y Valley asparagus with cannelloni and fried duck egg was divine. It would also make an incredibly indulgent and fabulous starter. The monkfish was my favourite dish in terms of appearance and flavour. The fish was slightly overcooked, but the taste was wonderful with the adami beans and miso caramel and sesame also really wonderful, made for a very special dish. The lamb chop was also gorgeous with the loin and glazed belly. The asparagus mince and rice wine dressing set the dish off perfectly. For dessert, James offers some lovely and refreshing dishes to end the meal. To begin, the marinated pineapple was delightful, light and fresh. Next came the honey pot, which was a real treat. This has a gorgeous creme brulee, ice lemon, honey thyme, cookies and honey liqueur jelly. Just delicious. And finally, you can't leave without trying James' legendary bread and butter pudding. Well, his take on it anyway. It's so light, a beautifully made dish with croissants with whiskey-soaked golden sultanas. Fabulous. Tremendous dish. This restaurant is not cheap and not trying to be either. It offers great service, presentation in a glorious eating space. Starters average £8 and the mains are around £18 per head. Steaks range between £19 and £42. James Martin should be proud of this restaurant. I hope people venture through the casino to enjoy this delightful eatery. You can find out more details by googling James Martin Manchester. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8.3 million minutes viewed on YouTube. Check out all of our interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da!